Hello everyone, and welcome back to Orion Reads. We have not done one of these in a while, but I am in my new library, in which we will be able to start reading uh, the books that we've collected. Uh, so we're going to start off today with an autosave. Let's see, the book we're going to read will be A Child's Anoud. That's how I'm going to read it. The Anoud paraphrased. The first ones were brothers, Anu and Padome. They came into the void and time began. As Anu and Padome wandered the void, the interplay of light and darkness created Nur. Both Anu and Padome were amazed and delighted with her appearance, but she loved Anu and Padome retreated from them in bitterness. Nier became pregnant, but before she gave birth, Padme returned, professing his love for Nier. She told him that she loved only Anu, and Padme beat her in rage. Oh, wow. Anu returned, fought Padme, and cast him outside time. Nier gave birth to creation, but died from her injuries soon after. Anu, grieving, hid himself in the sun and slept. Meanwhile, life sprang up on the twelve worlds of creation and flourished. After many ages, Padme was able to return to time. He saw creation and hated it. He swung his sword, shattering the twelve worlds in their alignment. Anu awoke and fought Padme again. The long and furious battle ended with Anu the victor. He cast aside the body of his brother, who he believed was dead, and attempted to save creation by forming the remnants of the twelve worlds into one, Nern. The world of Tamriel. As he was doing so, Padme struck him through the chest with one last blow. Anu grappled with his brother and pulled them both outside of time forever. The blood of Padme became the Daedra. The blood of Anu became the stars. The mingled blood of both became the Aedra, hence their capacity for good and evil, and their greater affinity for earthly affairs than the Daedra, who have no connection to creation. On the, wor on the world of Nern, all was chaos. The only survivors of the twelve worlds of, cre of creation were the Elnafi and the Hist. The Elnafi are the ancestors of Myr and Men. The Hist are the trees of Argonia. Nern originally was all land with interspersed seas, but no oceans. A large fragment of the El Nofi world landed on Nern relatively intact, and the El Nofi living there were the ancestors of the Myrrh. These El Nofi fortified their borders from the chaos outside, hid their pocket of calm, and attempted to live on as before. Other El Nofi arrived on Nern, scattered amid the confused jumble of the shattered worlds, wandering and finding each other over the years. Eventually, the wandering Elnofi found the hidden land of old Elnofi El and were amazed and joyful to find their kin living among or living amid the splendor of ages past. The wandering Elnofi expected to be welcomed into the peaceful realm, but the old Elnofi looked at them as degenerates fallen from their former glory. For whatever reason, war broke out and raged across the whole Nern, the whole of Nern. The old Anofi retained their ancient power and knowledge, but the Wanderers were more numerous and toughened by their long struggle to survive on Nern. This war reshaped the face of Nern, sinking much of the land beneath the oceans and leaving the lands as we know them, Tamriel, Akavir, Atmora, and Yokuda. The old Anofi realm, the, although ruined, became Tamriel. The remnants of the Wanderers were left divided on the other three continents. Over many years, the Elnofi of Tamriel became the Myr, which are elves, the Dwenmer, the Deep One, sometimes called Dwarves, the Chimmer, the Changed Ones, who later became the Dunmer, the Dunmer, the Dark or Cursed Ones, the Dark Elves, the Bosmer, the Green or Forest Ones, the Wood Elves, the Altmer, the Elder or High Ones, the High Elves. On the other continents, the Wandering El Nofi became the men, the Nords of Atmora, the Red Guards of Yakuda, and the Seixti of Akavir. 
The Hist were bystanders in the Anofi War, but most of their realm was destroyed as the war passed over it. A small corner of it survived to become the Black Marsh in Tamriel, but most of their realm was sunk beneath the sea. Eventually, men returned to Tamriel. The Nords were the first, colonizing the northern coast of Ca Tamriel before, history re before recorded history, led by the legendary Yuzgrimur. The 13th of his line, King Harold, was the first to appear in written history. And so, the mythic era ended. That was a nice little... um. Like, kind of like mythical storytelling, it seems, of, like, how the world got created. I, I don't know if that's similar to, like, the Bible, where, like, God, you know, he supposedly created the world in seven days. It, it seems like that was kind of a similar vein um, to it. But that is going to be the end of Ryan Reed's for this episode. Uh, make sure to do your usual YouTube thing of liking, subscribing, ringing the bell. Check out links in the description for places that you can end up finding me. Uh, and when we come back, more reading.